I'm Andrew S. Wiecek, editor of Drug Discovery and Development. Segment two, how it works, bananas and biomarkers. In our last video, we discussed the benefits of personalized medicine, which really boils down to giving the right drug to the right patient at the right time. So how can we do this? Well, what it comes down to is one word, biomarkers. What is a biomarker? Well, let's talk about bananas. Besides being rich, creamy, and delicious, bananas also happen to be great communicators. When a banana is green, it's still ripening. When it turns yellow with small brown speckles, it's ripe and at the peak of deliciousness. But when large brown spots start to appear, the banana has turned to mush, and you're probably better off pulling out a good banana bread recipe. The color of a banana is like a biomarker. Actually, it's not like a biomarker, it is a biomarker. It's a measurement of a biological process. In other words, the color of the banana tells you about the banana's ripening. Unfortunately, our bodies don't change color to tell us what's going on inside. If your skin does turn yellow and you start to develop brown speckles, you should probably see a doctor immediately. Instead, we have molecular variations in our body that indicate whether we are healthy or not as well as help to predict how we will respond to a certain drug or treatment. Of course, first you need to find the molecular variations that are associated with disease or drug response. Identifying these biomarkers enables the development of two things needed for personalized medicine. First, molecular diagnostic tests that can quickly identify these molecular variations in patients. And secondly, drugs that target these disease variations and could push our bodies back to health. Finding these biomarkers has been no easy task, but has been immensely helped by the development of high throughput genome sequencing over the past decade. This has allowed researchers to identify genetic variations associated with disease. So how do we analyze this genomic data to make it meaningful for the era of personalized medicine? Well, that's exactly what Rob will talk about in our next video segment.